Okay, along with the first train, the first in the house, first time accessing oh, yeah, yeah. my port. Time for IVIG. Wow. Oh, you gotta breathe. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was I was telling them yesterday. I wonder when we're gonna feel feel like it's unnecessary to say good morning from North Carolina. <laughs> um, good morning, guys. I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store. I'm running a couple errands. We actually got up kind of abruptly because we thought we heard a knock, but maybe we did. But we got up. Oh had some coffee, some snuggles, and uh, I'm gonna go get, I'm, I'm gonna make some pulled pork on the smoker today. So I'm excited about that. And then I need to get a couple of things, like a nine volt battery for our microphone because I'm recording a video today. All the things. So. You're recording a video? Oh yeah. You don't say. <laughs> Different than this video. Different than this one. So I am going to run I'll bring you guys along. Let's go. And Mary's gonna go up and do her best while I'm gone. Peace out, Girl Scout. Peace out. First trip to the grocery store since arriving here. And this is a brand new grocery store too. Blackberries were 99 cents, why not? Bananas are delicious. And a pork shoulder for pulled pork. I'm back. And uh, I'm gonna get this uh, ready. I'm gonna go start the grill. Okay, I've got this all rubbed and ready to go. The grill is getting prepared. I made, I followed with uh, my grill. I got this cookbook and it had a recipe for the pulled pork for a Carolina style uh, sauce. So I made that and that is soaking. And we'll throw this on for most of the day. And meanwhile, Mary got her violin out and was tuning it up. Oh yeah. What is happening? Well, when you need to film a video by today and the tripod is in the moving truck, which comes in two days, you find a box in the garage that'll work as a tripod. <laughs> May the force be with you. Thank you. Up to the recording studio. I'm doing my best to just kind of take it easy today. Um, my lungs are continuing to have a lot more mucus than they did before this cold. So I am just trying to, um, I mean, I did all my airway clearance and all my nebs and everything and doing what I can, but I also am feeling pretty strongly that I need to rest, which isn't really much of a possibility right now, but today it is. Tomorrow we have friends coming and they're gonna be helping us uh, unpack, not move, but the movers will bring the boxes to the proper rooms and then our friends are gonna help us set up the house. Um, so they're coming tomorrow, today, uh, we have a bed coming. We bought a bed and it's being delivered today. I need to do IVIG and we're supposed to go to our neighbor's house for dinner. So I'm trying to make decisions and be wise with my need to rest, but we'll see. We'll see what today holds. But I got my violin out and doing that sort of thing is pretty relaxing. And so, yeah, just getting settled in our new home, imagining what it's gonna be like to live here and really enjoying the outside. It is <laughs> like perfect weather. The sun is out, the trees are beautiful. It's a wonderful day to be alive. Super cheesy, but it's actually true. It is a wonderful day to be alive. Taking a brief pause from filming because I need to go uh, spray the... Church. 
Rose. Oh. Oh. Alright, I just finished filming up here on the third floor and uh, here was my setup. The box was a little short so I found a couple paint cans in the attic and uh, I, th I think it worked. I gotta go edit this video and uh, send it to the church and yeah, filming done. Alright guys, we just had a delivery. A very exciting delivery indeed because Mary and I, I don't know if I don't know if we've told you this, we ordered a new bed because we had tried one of those mattress in a boxes and we've been sleeping on it and they have this free trial where you can try it and if you don't like it, you can return it. We haven't liked it. And so, our new bed. And so basically we just, we went with the same brand that um, our old mattress one was. of the families I babysat for gave us a mattress and we've loved it. That's the mattress we've been sleeping on in Massachusetts for the last forever eight years and so we decided to just go with that brand and it came with a free adjustable base and uh, they just delivered it put it together and uh, now we have a new bed okay wow what a day it has been it's been a good day but I've definitely been feeling it um, I've definitely been like I guess my stamina's down, and I'm assuming, presuming, it's from the cold. Just kind of the effects that the cold has settled in. And um, nothing to do about that, so at this point, I just need to keep pressing on. My lungs, I'd say today was about the same as yesterday. My mucus is definitely like more infected than it was a week or two ago. But um, today was not like worse. So I'm just keeping an eye on it and then in the next few days I'll, you know, I'll be able to see if my body's getting significantly worse or getting better or whatever. It'll just take time. So for now, Today was just a lot more resting, which is good. That's what I needed to do. But I need to do IVIG. We just got back from our neighbor's house and I need to do IVIG. And um, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, along with the first train, like the first in the house, first time accessing oh, yeah, yeah. my port. Time for IVIG. What? And again, I'm loving having this medical closet. I've got my Tylenol and my Benadryl for my pre-medicines. <laughs> Whoops. Because my body clock is different now, I go to bed earlier, so I needed to start IVIG a little earlier. So, yeah, so this is my first time doing it earlier than I normally would. But I'd like to time it to do it right before bed because the Benadryl typically makes me pretty drowsy. And so then I just, once IVIG finishes, then I just take my nighttime meds and go to sleep. And it's worked out well. I, I remember when we were just starting to do IVIG, I guess I was still figuring out my rhythm and stuff and what worked best for me. And I would do it in the afternoon. And it would be like all these, you know, three or four hours of just really out of it. And then it's like, what do I do the rest of the day? I still feel weird. I still feel out of it. So now I do it right before bed. And the next day I wake up and feel fine. I have had a few questions about IVIG like side effects. And I don't have any direct linked side effects. We have wondered if some of my headaches in the last few years are exacerbated is that the word exacerbated. by the IVIG maybe the IVIG makes me have more frequent headaches I don't have a like a really bad headache the day after IVIG I have heard that that can be a side effect but I have not had that I did have like my stomach 
for the first maybe six months of IVIG. Maybe not, I don't know, very early on on IVIG, like, and if you're not familiar, IVIG is IV, like intravenous. I do it through my port, IV immunoglobulins. It's a blood product, which is clear. It's just part, it's not like whole blood, of course, because that would be red. Um, anyway, it treats an immunodeficiency that I have and I do it every three weeks. And um, anyway, so uh, the first six months I had pretty bad stomach pain within like the six hours after the infusion. One time we were driving to Maryland. I, this was when I was still doing my infusions at the hospital. We did the infusion and we left like late at night. The infusion was late at night. It was like seven or no, let's see, whatever, four to eight or something like that. And so we left the hospital like 8 or 9 p.m. And then we were driving to Maryland. So like at 2 in the morning or something, we're on the highway. And my stomach was like, I couldn't. Like my stomach was hurting. And I knew that I had to go to the bathroom. And we, I couldn't possibly wait till we got to like a gas station or anything. So we pulled on the side of the road. And my I it was explosive. And um, it was just like... <laughs> I now know that was IVIG, that's why that happened and all of that. But anyway, oh my eyes are feeling so tired. Anyway, so side effects. I do not get direct side effects. I don't link any, like like I said, the headaches may or may not be worsened because of IVIG, but the benefits of IVIG outweigh the risks um, for me. Anyway, I have had friends who have needed to alter like the infusion. So maybe their doctor does it slower. So I do it in about four hours. Maybe they have to do it in more hours than that. Pre-dosing, I dose with Benadryl and Tylenol. That's how it's always been. And that has worked for me. That's because it's a blood product. There's always that risk of having a reaction. And so I take, like if there was a nurse here, she'd be taking my vitals every time the pump beeps, which is when it changes a rate. So since I don't have a nurse that comes to the house, I do all the vitals. So when my pump beeps, I take my vitals, um, blood pressure and temperature. And um, anyway, so either, so if I guess I, I recently had a couple of people reach out and ask questions about having reactions. If you are having reactions, things to talk or ask your team about, maybe doing some uh, IV saline solution, like not during, but like hydrate before hydrate after um maybe if you can change up your pre-dose medications like uh, i uh whatever benadryl and tylenol or add other pre-dosed medicines and then the the other thing you can talk about is switching brands i've always been on gamma guard that's what i've always been on i've never had a problem with it but if i were to start having a problem we could try switching brands. So those are my few little tips um, that I've heard from other people that have, that have helped. So I hope that's helpful. Before I forget to tell you guys, and it's funny, I'm actually wearing the same shirt in this picture as I am right now. It's a really comfy shirt. So my friend Hannah is riding in the CF Cycle for Life she just did it in Massachusetts and she's flying to North Carolina to do it here as well. So I am going to be there at the event and I am actually planning to walk with her through the finish line and pretty sure we're going to cry. I don't know. It's just a kind of a beautiful picture of like she wants to do this to fight for those with CF and she has done an amazing job of raising money for the CF Foundation for years. She did it in California, she's done it in Massachusetts, she's doing it in North Carolina. I would love it if you guys are interested. So all of the money goes to the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation and there's a CF Foundation, um, there's a fundraising page for the, uh, it's not a walk, it's a, it's a cycle, cycle for life. She's gonna be on a bike. If you guys would like to partner with Peter and I as we partner with Hannah, as part Hannah partners with us, I'd love to invite you guys to donate to that uh, cycle. 
I'm used to saying walk, to that cycle. So I'm going to ask Peter, can you please leave the link in the comment, or in the description, please? Thank you guys, and um, let's all be cheering Hannah on as it gets closer. And Hannah has a lot going on in life right now, and so this is just one of the many ways that I see her being selfless and she is a servant at heart and I'm just I'm thankful for her and her dedication to fighting CF right alongside us even though she doesn't have it. Hmm? Vitals. Check. Ooh. Mary's feeling it from the IVIG and the Benadryl and everything and we're just gonna lay on our new bed, watch a show, and wrap it up for tonight. The pork is in the oven finishing up. I've got a meat thermometer on it so I know uh, when it's done. So that'll be delicious food for the weekend. But thanks for tuning in today, guys. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night to us.